let's move to the loading dose. So what is what is the loading dose? Loading dose, it is a dose of medication that required to load volume of distribution. Body mass 70 kg, uh, drug X, uh, volume of distributions one liter per kg, uh, desired steady state plasma concentration will be 2.5 uh, milligrams per a liter. We are looking for a loading dose. So volume of distribution it is a dose over plasma concentration. And actually this dose can be a loading dose or can be uh, ingested dose. It depends from the plasma concentration. As we are using steady state concentration, then we are talking about a loading dose because loading dose, it is a dose required to load a volume of distribution and reach steady state concentration almost immediately or very quickly. So from this equation, we can find that dose, that is a volume of distribution multiplied on plasma concentration. You see units, check units, volume of distribution in liters per kg, and we need in liters. So we should find volume of distribution as a 70 kg multiplied on one liter per kg. And actually we are getting 70 liters. So we are using first 70 liters multiplied on 2.5 milligrams per liter. Is it okay? Yes, it is okay. Here we have liters and here we have liters and get an answer in milligrams. So this will correspond to... 175 milligrams. Good. Next one. We have volume of uh, distribution 20 liters. Loading dose uh, to reach uh, target plasma. So steady state of plasma target 5 uh, micrograms per milliliter. So what is the IV load in dose? And as we have IV, we are assuming that wall, uh, that bioavailability is one and we are looking for load in dose. Once again, we can use volume of distribution as a load in dose or dose or plasma concentration. And uh, from this equation, we're getting that loading dose will be a volume of distribution multiplied on plasma concentration. And let's start calculate volume of distribution 20 liters multiplied on 5 micrograms per milliliter. Could we continue with calculations? Most likely, no, because, because we need to convert either liters to milliliters or micrograms to uh, milligrams. Uh, so what we have, we have 20,000 milliliters multiplied on five uh, microgram per milliliter. And uh, this will correspond, we cross milliliters, this will correspond to 100,000 micrograms or will correspond to 100 milligrams. One milligram is a one thousand micrograms. Uh, Half life twelve hours. Clearance zero point zero eight liters per minute. Uh, volume of uh, distribution, uh, 60 liters, and the target plasma concentration, 8 microgram per milliliter. What is the loading dose to reach this plasma concentration? Uh, loading dose will be a uh, volume of distribution multiplied on plasma concentration. A volume of distribution, 60 liters, multiplied on 8 microgram per 
milliliter. Once again, checking units, here we have liters and here milliliters. Might be 60,000 milliliters multiplied on eight uh, microgram per milliliter. And this will correspond to 480,000 micrograms or 480 milligrams as a one milligram that is a 1000 micrograms so we have body weight 75 kg a volume of distribution 0 0.5 liters per kg desired let's say steady state concentration 20 milligrams per liter uh, what is the loading dose loading dose loading dose so look we have body mass and we have volume of distribution in liters per kg so always keep in mind so we should find the volume of distribution it will be 75 kg multiplied on 0 0.5 liters per kg and uh, 75 70 it will be 35 and 2.5 37.5 liters right uh, multiplied so we are using this uh, for equation so we are getting 35 37.5 liters multiplied on 20 milligrams per liter is it okay okay so we have liters here and liters here and uh, this will correspond to 750 yeah? will be 750 milligrams all right good and uh, the last uh, question related to load and those actually how it can be calculated we have bioavailability here you see bioavailability is a 40 percent or 0 0.4 and volume of distribution 10 liters the patient's creatinine clearance is 88 clearance uh, creatinine 88 milliliters per a minute the question is asking about loading dose to reach plasma concentration 20 milligrams per liter so once again loading dose a volume of a distribution multiplied on plasma concentration a volume of distribution is at 10 liters multiplied on plasma concentration 20 milligrams per liter and here actually we are getting 200 milligrams but you see that we have uh, we are missing one moment bioavailability is 40 percent so we got 200 milligrams in case of iv infusion when bioavailability equal to one and the corrected or correct loading dose will be a loading dose divided on bioavailability so it will be actually 200 milligrams divided on 0 0.4 and this will correspond to 500 milligrams and if we will check multiply 500 and 0 0.4 we will have 200 milligrams and this actually 200 milligrams will correspond to the dose so always keep in mind this bioavailability Our volume of distribution will be dose divided on plasma concentration and in this situation we are talking about iv dose right when we have bioavailability equal to one and if we would like to correct this for per oral road of administration then volume of distribution will be calculated as a dose over bioavailability and plasma concentration always should keep in mind and if you have a bioavailability in uh, your question that means that you should operate with this bioavailability do not miss this sentence that drug administered where iv road of administration or drug administered where iv 
infusion or IV bolus infusion. In this situation, you always should assume that bioavailability equal to one. But if you have bioavailability in questions, most likely you will need it for calculation.